faster. Halt! No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's in order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. What kind of pass are we talking about? Well, a normal one. A transit pass. Who issues them? How should I know? I'm a lowly soldier. Who ordered the city gates closed? Word is the king himself. Doesn't want paupers and refugees pissing all over his beautiful city. Apart from which, when folk can go hither and thither, always a chance some spy will slink through. This way, spies got it harder. So, no pass, no passage. Farewell. Honor in the fatherland. for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitek sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. My father send you? Yeah, to see if you're still alive, and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine, and now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? 
Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally we'd had enough, mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that... thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire? Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden. Witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for tomorrow, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Hope you know what you're getting into. I've never been more certain. The Eternal Fire is the best thing that could happen to me. In that case, good luck. Thank you for respecting my choice. Farewell.
Folk don't object to your white mug. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, are called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taking them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? I saw her. We talked. She said I could tell you she's safe. When will she come home? And that she's not coming back. She's not to return. But I prepared all for her. Her rooms are white. I sent away for new pantoblas from Toussaint. How can she not come back? Sooner you accept this, the better. Face it, you haven't been the best father. I have not. True. But I'd change. I'd be different. If only she'd return. If only they'd both come back. Maybe all is not yet lost. She's in Oxenfurt, you say. Well, maybe she hasn't left. Maybe she'll hear me out. You can always try. Wouldn't get my hopes up, though. I shall try. I must. Life is pointless without her and Anna. I've nothing to lose. Incidentally, what of my Annie? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. 
When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Seri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? Hmm. A little here, a little there. Not surprising, given you wander the world alone. Not alone no more. She's in the company now. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. But we've no notion how you arrived here. A woman in a man's garb, razor on her back. Who exactly are you? You a mercenary? Mm, a witcher. Though, not entirely. I never went through the mutations. A witcher? So apart from the sword play, what, you know, potions and all that? Not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager. Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. Oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Die dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! <laughs> Come on, silly. Don't you embarrass us. <laughs> Your wind, not woman. 
Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this.